What's up guys and welcome back once again to Diddy Reviews. Today I'm going to be looking at another cooler from Be Quiet. Um, massive thank you to Be Quiet for sending us over a review. Now I have previously done the 360 version of this. Today I'm looking at the 240 version. This is the Silent Loop 2. This is an ARGB cooler on the uh, pump block um, with standard uh, Silent Wings 3 fans on there as well. Um, so we'll get it unboxed, have a quick look at it. It is very similar. It is going to look pretty much exactly the same to the 360, just smaller. Um, but we'll have a quick look over it and then we'll test it and I'll give some comparison data to, uh, against the 360 so you can see sort of how it performs differently to a 360. So this is the Silent Loop 2 uh, ARGB cooler from Be Quiet. Um, again, like I said before, I have uh, checked out the 360 version before, so this is gonna be very similar, um, but we'll have a quick look over it. It is in their premium line, um, so let's have a look. So in terms of, uh, let's have a quick look at the specs. Um, obviously that gives you all the features on there, I won't bore you with all that, um, that can be found on the website if you need to know about it. Um, but yeah, it's ARGB, Silent Wings 3, uh, standard sort of radiator and copper heat plate. So in terms of the specifications, first of all let's go over the socket compatibility. It is Intel 1700, 1200, 2066, 1150, 1151, 1155 and 2011. And it's AMD AM4 mentioned on here, I believe it does use the standard AMD bracket, so should fit AM5. That will go up on the screen uh, now if it does support AM5, I'll get that directly from the website. Um, and then the it's aluminium, uh, it's spray painted black, it's copper with nickel plating on the base. Uh, the pump speed is 2800 RPM with a three pin connector. It's a five volt ARGB connector. And the fans are, like I say, Silent Wings 3 PWM. A standard 120 mil fan size, 120 by 25, and the fan speed is up to 2200, and that's pretty much all I need to tell you. So first of all, let's have another quick look at the fan. It's the Silent Wing 3 fan, as mentioned previously. Um, again, it's a it's a be quiet fan. They're absolutely amazing quality. Uh, no uh, hub wobble to talk about really. Um, standard, obviously, vibration mounts in the corners. Like I said, there isn't really much more to show you about this. I've showed it before. And obviously standard solid construction from Be Quiet, again, um, pretty weighty as well. Um, so these fans do perform really well. Um, so that's that, there's not really much to show you about that. And obviously say it's a standard PWM connection on there. There's no ARGB on these, because um, they don't do an ARGB version of this cooler, um, with fans, should I say. And then the cooler itself, um, the pump is mounted in here. It's not like the Pure Loop, which has it mounted on the, uh, uh, the tubes. It is mounted inside here. You have ARGB that goes around the outside here, and it's sort of like a brushed aluminium effect on the top. Like I say, it's copper based with nickel plating. Um, there is no pre-applied thermal paste, but you do get thermal paste with it. And then it's standard mounting for what Be Quiet seem to always use, which is really good. It's really easy to install. And then, as mentioned before, it's a standard size radiator, uh, 28 mil thick, and obviously it's a 240 mil radiator this time. Uh, one thing I'm not sure I mentioned in the last one um, when I did the 360 is you do get a bottle of coolant with it as well so you can top it up um, because obviously coolers do lose coolant over time so you can top it up with that. Um, how often you need to do that I'm not sure um, but there is that there as well so that's a, a bit of peace of mind. So that's it, there's not really much more to show you. Um, it is standard ARGB 3 pin 5 volt connections with a pass through on it as well so you can connect it to other stuff and pass the signal through and then it's a, a three pin uh, cable for the pump speed. So let's get it installed and uh, sort of do some testing. Right, so that's the Silent Loop 240 installed and tested. Um, so we'll talk about some thermal results and I'll compare it a little bit to the 360 to give you an idea of what you get in terms of spending the extra on a 360. Um, so standard testing that I do for most of my coolers now is uh, Cinebench, Shell of the Tomb Raider and Time Spy because I want to give sort of a broad understanding of the how it performs in different cases. Obviously Cinebench is the worst case scenario and then obviously Shadow of the Tomb Raider for so a gaming scenario, and then Time Spy for just a, a different sort of scenario to use. 
So in terms of uh, temperatures, <coughs> it idled around 27 degrees, which is fantastic. The ambient in here was 18 at the time of uh, testing. Um, so yeah, absolutely brilliant in terms of idle temperatures. And then onto Cinebench, and uh, this is the one that I've got the information fr from the 364 as well, so we'll just compare that one. Um, so Cinebench, uh, multi-core, PBO enabled on the 5900X, and multi like I say, multi-core over five minutes. And we had a maximum of 72, an average of 68, and clocks were running between 4.3 and 4.4, so really good there. For a 240, that's really, really good. Uh, um, compare that to the 360, the 360 you do get a really a much more performance, um, so if you can afford the extra then maybe go for the 360. Um, 61 on maximum and 57 average temperatures. Um, so as you can see there's quite a, uh, quite a bit of a difference in terms of temperatures there, um, you are getting quite a lot more um, with a, a 360, but this is a worst case scenario anyway, um, so it is the highest temperatures you're going to probably get. Now, moving on to Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Um, I don't have the figures for anything else for the, from the 360 because there were different tests. Um, we've got a maximum of 55 and a average of 48. Now, I say maximum 55, that again was a spike um, when loading the test up and it sort of sat around 47, 48 for most of the most of the test. Um, so, again, absolutely brilliant. The cooling is really good on this cooler. Um, it is really good. I can, <laughs> from that, I can definitely recommend it. And the clocks were between 4.5 and 4.8, obviously jumping around different uh, different cores. Then on to time spy CPU test uh, 1080p. Um, maximum of 63 and an average of 54 with clocks running at 4.6 to 4.8 again. Um, so, again, absolutely fantastic results. Uh, it's a really, really good cooler. Um, Talk a little bit about the the uh, noise levels. Um, so 100% fans. Obviously, there's two fans on this and the pump as well. Um, I, but there is obviously fans in my case as well. So I try to turn those down just to get the noise of the cooler itself. Um, although they didn't go to zero. So 100% speed, which is it's rated for 2200. I think mine was getting just over 2000. Not sure why. Um, we've got a 38 decibels, so relatively loud, but you're not going to be running at that for much, uh, for very often, unless you're doing obviously really high intensive tasks. And um, this is with the case open as well, so once you close the case up on it, it's probably going to be a lot, uh, a lot quieter. At 75%, it got down to 30 decibels, and at 50%, it went all the way down to 24 decibels, so pretty much silent. And at the moment, it's running at I think about 50% at the moment and you can barely hear it. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it sounds, it doesn't sound very loud at all. Uh, so that's my conclusion on this guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, I can definitely recommend this cooler. If you're looking for a decent uh, AIO um, and you don't want to spend an absolute fortune because the price of these isn't actually bad, I will put that up on the screen or in the description below um, of the current pricing situation for these. They're not badly priced at all compared to some of your others. Um, other than that, yeah, it's it's fantastic. It performs really well. Looks lovely. The RGB on the pump block is amazing. It looks really, really nice. And uh, although they're not RGB fans, they are good fans that are on it. Um, but obviously, you can always put your own RGB fans on it if you want. I recommend the Light Wings if you're going to do that. Um, they're absolutely brilliant. But yeah, uh, so other than the only only downside to say is maybe if they did a full RGB version, they do one for the pure loop, but not for the silent loop. Um, so it would be nice to be seeing an RGB version of this. Uh, whether they'll do it in the future or not, I don't know. Um, but yeah, there we go. Um, so like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did enjoy it, then please give it a like. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and if you didn't like it, obviously give it a dislike. Uh, let me know why if you want to. Uh, and leave any comments in the comment section below. I'm always happy to hear them. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.